anaconda so we'll be basically using this anaconda.com uh, this anaconda this is a package manager actually so based on your uh, operating system you can use it either it is uh, you know uh, uh, macbook or windows based systems or any linux based systems you can basically use uh, the appropriate version for this anaconda right you can choose your os from here and you can download it by default it will also detect and it will ask you to download the, the master version for it so you can just download and install it right this is this is actually the one of the package managers that we'll be using so mostly why we are using it because of the jupyter notebook so we will be using the jupyter notebook most of you who are uh, who might be you know a little bit familiar with the python programming they might be knowing about this particular tool so that is nothing but this uh, jupyter notebook itself so we'll be using a notebook uh, environment for it right so basically there are two types of environment one is the scripting and one is the notebook so in the scripting we just write the codes that's it right uh, in the comments you can also write a uh, few few statements as well but notebook is a full fledged uh, different thing so i'll just show you that as well <clears throat> okay so uh, once you download and install this particular thing uh, right so there will be a question ask it will ask the question i mean it will ask you guys to uh, click on the two check boxes that will ask you to uh, install python with it as well and also uh, uh, the set the path variable as well you can check those boxes based on the condition right so it will also install python 3.9 uh, the latest python with it as well okay so i i hope you guys are uh, you know software engineers and uh, much into this uh, com computer science thing so there will not be any issue in installation of uh, 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 this this uh, random software right so i hope you guys will be able to do it and uh, apart from this let me just show you uh, how would it look like once you have uh, installed it right so let me just show you a different screen Okay, let me just show you a whole screen. Okay, so yeah, this is this is this is how it will look like, right? This is the Anaconda Navigator. Once you install and open it, it will look like this. So, as I said, this is the Jupyter notebook that 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 we will be using for our task as of now. Uh, all the things are awesome. I mean, uh, let's uh, want to do more things today. So, it's Python uh, right now will be sir voice is breaking sir <laughs> sir your voice is breaking is it just for you or uh, all of us all of you audible sir it's breaking all of us sir it's breaking breaking sir okay okay i guess uh, just just see let's see uh, just try to manage it for today only i'm at uh, not not at my uh usual location actually right so it's so easy okay so yeah yeah just just try to manage it for today only okay so uh, yeah this is the this is the ui that is look like you might see this launch button over here initially you might have launch button you might see the install install button over here as well. so you can see the launch um, just you install it and then you will see the launch button and when you launch it it will launch the uh into the browser actually Right. Let's go into one particular folder. This is a local host. This is not disk. I'll just go to uh, one folder in the downloads, right? Vertex, and here I will create a new folder. You can also create a new folder from your uh, uh, file explorer as well. It's up to you. Okay. I mean, um, July. 2020 right 20, uh, july 20 so this is the batch for you guys right uh the, in this folder i'll be keeping every file uh, that that related to this particular thing okay and here i'll I, in order to create click on this right uh click on this new and uh here you will see only one option i'm seeing uh, two options because i have installed multiple version of python actually right so once you click on that you will see here so this is a notebook environment right we'll uh, talk about it notebook environment later on in in our first lecture itself right here you can rename your notebook let's say i rename it my first underscore so this is the python notebook file if you see here 
it says ipynb so normal python file will be dot py but this is a notebook file right so this will be ipynb okay and this is how you can create here you can write the codes as well for example if i write print statement in hello the world okay so you can see this this prints a hello right so you'll be able to all those uh, write the codes over here there are some more functionalities i'll tell you later on in the next lecture